closer to the carp zone, it's absolutely freezing. We can't go fishing. So what we've done, we've uh, come down to uh, Criston to have a look around. World leaders in braided line, more world record carp caught on their products than any of us. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at a few new products and show you around the factory of what goes on. And uh, later on in the video, go into some more detail uh, regards to the braided lines and how they're used. So without further ado, let's get inside where it's a bit more warmer and have a brew. I'm Dave Chilton from Criston. Many anglers call us Christon. It doesn't matter what you call us because what we're well known for is our range of specially top links that's used throughout the carp world. Now many people find it very confusing with such a wide range of hook links. Which ones to use? Why do we need them? What waters are they for? This is a small section of our range. I've just got a few different types here and what I want, would like to do is take you through them, show you their uses and hopefully help us all catch more fish. So where do we start? Well, I suppose we start back in 1952 when Richard Walker caught his famous Clarissa, 44 pounds the, work, the, the British record carp and what he did was Richard decided to use a braided top link up to that point everybody had used nylon and Richard Walker recognised that nylon had a degree of stiffness which could put the fish off he wanted the bait to behave more naturally so he decided to use a braided top link and once Richard Walker caught that carp on a much thicker line than nylon, the thing was it was supple and the suppleness helped to give the bait its natural ability to move in water when a fish sucks and blows. So let's start off with modern day hot links. Here we have the first product that we got out in 1988. It's called multi-strand, it's not a braid, it's not a solid line. It's a series of the world's strongest fibres, Spectra. There's 60 filaments in the 15 pound multi-strand. Now, why would we want to use something which was totally different to what we're normally used to, nylon? or Dacron. As you can see multi-strand is not a braided line and what it does have is the abil ability of movement within water. And here's a good test. When a carp closes its mouth as my finger and thumb over line any stiff or hard line it would feel you can try this for yourself. If you drape the multi-strand over your finger and thumb, as you close as the carp's mouth would, the line flattens and you cannot feel a single thing. The other aspect of multi-strand is its ability to move in water. And what I'm going to do now is cut a section off and we're going to place the multi-strand 
on the surface of the water and as you will see once the multi-strand has touched the surface all these fibres will completely open up and almost disappear and very simply we drop it on the water and here we go now you see it now you don't as you can see the fibres have separated and that gives unbelievable suppleness and unhinders any restriction of your hook bait imagine this in water just watch the freedom of movement that that as a hot link has in the water there's no stiffness and it's totally supple allowing your hook bait to move totally naturally just like a free offering so now we're going to move on to transfer these fibers into a braided line as you saw the multi strand isn't braided at all they're continuous fibers so the first product that we brought out and this is way back in 1991 was a very well known silkworm that is a mixture of polyester which are the dark fibers that you can see and the white fibers which are spectra fibers as you know they're the world's strongest fiber what we did was we put the two together and we braided them and that produced silkworm this was the first world's first super braid and it has caught tens of thousands of fish and still does today for anglers that want perfect presentation with suppleness with softness this product is still going today and you can fish this on almost any water any water apart from the most severe waters with snags so silkworm it's neutral buoyancy it doesn't float it doesn't sink but we'll come to that later following the silkworm we've got Merlin out a completely different braid and as you can see it's totally different than silkworm it's a sinking braid again with polyester fibers but more heavily weighted so that will sink very slowly and settle on the bottom this can be used on waters where it's a little bit more snaggy than open waters weed beds lily pads merlin can be used in total confidence the next braid we brought out is one of many well-known anglers favorite Bill Cotton from Nutribates, Simon Crow used this line exclusively it's supernova and again looking at the difference in patterns between the three it's totally different it's very soft very smooth and probably the most well probably the most supple line that is on the market as you can see there's no degree of stiffness there your hook bait can move freely behave totally naturally that's supernova it comes in 25 15 and 12 pound breaking strains and you can use this with confidence anywhere finally on traditional braids again when you're fishing overseas you're fishing you're finding a completely different set of circumstances very snaggy waters rocky underwater obstacles and you need something that's going to be up to the job and quicksilver has been used for many years now and it remains a firm favorite for anglers fishing overseas on the St Lawrence anywhere where there's mussels snags flint gravel bars this product here has been designed to cope with all those problems Quicksilver comes in 25 35 and 45 pound breaking strain and it's also very useful for big heavy fish such as catfish Marcia and a good test of the quicksilver 
is to rub this against a solid surface such as a rock and it will take a long long time to wear through so when you're fishing overseas don't worry so much about the presentation be more concerned with what can get the fish out and what will cope and quicksilver you won't go wrong with that one that's that covers the traditional braids and let's move on to braided lines which have been coated many of you will be aware that snake bite was the first anti-tangle hot link and it's caught tens of thousands of fish and the reason being is that it offers you many many options this has been multi-coated again with about 25 coatings making it very very tough once we remove the coating I'm going to show you two ways of removing the coating shortly. Now the coating is quite resistant to take off and the reason for that is we don't want a coating that's simple to remove. If we use a single coating that will not protect the braid. So there we have the internal braid which is a very tightly braid made from the same fibres as Quicksilver with multiple coatings. As you can see it's camouflaged and once again you can use many many options, rig options in deciding what you want to do. You can make hinge rigs, combi rigs, uni rigs, many things. That is snake bite and it's been probably the most successful hook link of all time. Let's move on now to many people's favourite the super mantis. Exactly the same as the snake bite, but half of the diameter. And Mantis has already broken the cartwheel record four times. As you can see, compared to the diameter of snake bite, it's probably 50% less. So when you're fishing on normal waters, I would look towards the, the Mantis. But when you're fishing amongst rocks, gravel, bars, many sunken trees, I would plump for the snake bite. So that's, a, that's the uh, Mantis. It comes in three different versions. It comes in green, brown and silk finish in 25 and 35 pound breaking strain. It's a wonderful line. It can be used in the UK and overseas with total confidence. Finally, let's move on to the very latest development. This is Jessel and it's our Mega Braid. It's had 30 individual coatings, making the coating very tough. It's actually lower in diameter than the Mantis. And yet, this line will cope with anything at all, the snuggiest areas first time it was used it was field tested in Germany and Nerman Cairo caught his world record common on it from a very snaggy water. The Jackal offers everything if you had to stick to one hot link because there's so many you certainly should have Jackal in your tackle box and you'll probably find that you can use this quite comfortably in the UK and overseas. So that covers the, the strange collection of braids uh, that lots of confusion abounds which braids for this water. Let me just finally say this there is no best, there is no one best hook link. 